Hello, my little puddings. Hello, my little puddings. Welcome to Together with Miss Elliot. I am Miss Elliot, and you are. Today, we are going to do something very exciting. We're going to read a story, and then we're going to do some planting. The name of the story we are going to read is called Zinnia's Flower Garden by Monica Wellington. Let us begin. Spring has arrived. Zinnia is getting her garden ready for planting. She digs up the soil and turns it over with her shovel. She takes out stones and rakes the dirt smooth. The warm sun feels good as she works. Zinnia carefully plants many kinds of flower seeds in rows. She covers the seeds with dirt and pats it all down very gently. She sprinkles the ground with water. Zinnia waits for the seeds to sprout. The seeds need the sun to shine, the rain to fall, and many days to pass. It is hard to wait so long for her seeds to grow. Every day, Zinnia checks her garden to see if anything has happened. Look! The first seedling is poking its way up through the dirt. Now Zinnia's garden is full of green sprouts growing towards the sun. Little stems grow taller, little leaves get bigger, little roots burrow deeper into the earth. Zinnia takes care of her garden every day. When the sun is hot and the soil is dry, she waters her thirsty plants. She pulls up pesky weeds that try to crowd out her plants. She inspects them for greedy bugs. She measures how tall, how strong and healthy plants are growing. Every day, they get bigger and bigger. First thing in the morning, Zinnia runs out to check her garden. She is excited to see little buds growing on many of her plants. And then, at last, she finds what she has been waiting for, the first flower. One bud has bloomed. How beautiful, and what a sweet smell. There are many more buds that will open soon. The garden grows and grows with blossoming flowers. Zinnia paints, reeds, and picnics among them. Butterflies flutter, bees buzz. Zinnia's garden is her favorite place to be on these warm summer days. Her flowers are abundant and Zinnia cuts some to arrange into bouquets. The fragrant scents of the flowers swirl around her in the warm breeze. One hot summer day, Zinnia has a lemonade stand and puts up a sign. Pick your own flowers. Customers come and gather bunches of flowers and drop money in her jar. In the autumn, as it gets colder, Zinnia picks the last flowers from her garden. She finds ripe seeds that have formed. They are ready to be collected. She will save them to plant next year. The winter days are short. The sun is dim and the ground is covered with snow. But Zinnia is already planning next year's garden. When spring comes, she will be ready to grow her very own flowers again. The end. All right, my little puddings, let's start planting. Are you excited? Because I sure am. I can't wait to get started. Let us begin. To get started planting, we are going to need seeds. And I have some right here. I have Morning Glory. I have Shasta Daisy. And I have Zinnias. And we are going to start to plant those today. 
Okay. Also, you are going to need soil, dirt, and you're going to need something to put the dirt and the seeds in. So what I have is I have a flower pot. And if you don't have a flower pot, you can use a cup. Doesn't matter the color. One is clear and one is blue. That's what I'm using. But you're going to need help with these. You're gonna to have to ask someone to help you to put holes on the bottom of your cup. Okay, so the water, when we put water in it, it can go through the holes, okay? Also, you can use an egg carton. There's a lot of different things you can use to put your soil or your dirt in to start planting. So these are the things I'm gonna start using to plant. Okay, let us cut and open the bag so we can see the dirt. Let's get the dirt. There's the dirt. Okay. Now, now that we have that open, we're going to take one cup, which is the clear one that has the holes in it, and put some dirt in there. Make sure you fill it all the way up. Okay? Now. This is how it looks filled up. Okay. Then I'm going to get my other cup and fill that up. So that's two cups I have filled up. Also, I can fill my flower pot up. You don't have to fill it up all the way to the top. You could do it halfway if you choose. You put as much dirt in it as you want. Okay. There you go. Also, we do have egg cartons. I could put some dirt in there. See? Just put a little dirt or soil in your egg carton. Put it in each part. Put it all around so that every little hole is filled up. We can put morning glory in the blue cup. Let's, let's see how the seed look. These are how the seeds look. See? We could put that in the blue cup. So you're going to put your finger, make a little hole and cover. Make a little hole in another spot and cover. One more, we'll put three. Three seeds. Another spot and cover. Now, that's the morning glory. Let's use the clear cup for the Shasta daisies. The Shasta daisy. And we'll, let's see how these seeds look. Oh, these seeds are smaller. And it looks like this. See? 
So they're small, so you can just take a pinch and put it on the top and then poke a little hole to cover it slightly. We'll do a couple of more, maybe like four, maybe like four seeds. And then we'll put the rest back in here because we don't need so many in our cup. We just want to put a few seeds in. And then the last one, we'll use zinnias and put it in our flower pot. Okay? Let's see how these seeds look. They look small too. They look like this. You see? Let's drop a couple in the flower pot. Yes. Then you put your finger, poke a hole, and cover. Yes. Let's put the rest back that we're not using. You could do the same thing when you use the egg carton. All you have to do is take the seed, the morning glory, gonna use that take your finger make a little hole and you place the seed inside and drop it in you do that to both sides take the seed and drop it in and cover it then you're going to take your water and you're going to put a little bit of water in your egg carton. Also, you're gonna put a little bit of water inside your cup where you put the seeds at. You do all of them like that so that they all can get the water. And then your seeds will grow. Then after you put the seeds in and the water, you write the name on it so you don't forget. Like we put morning glory over here. So I'm going to put morning glory so I know what I planted. Okay? And that's how you plant. After you put the seed inside the soil and you added the water and you wrote the name of the plant, you're finished. The only thing you have to do is put it where it can get sunlight occasionally okay and you make sure you constantly water it maybe not in the same day but every other day you give it a little water and then your plant will grow so i hope you enjoyed this all right my little puddings that's all we have for today if you've enjoyed this video like share and subscribe I am Miss Elliot, and until next time, we'll be together again. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.